Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Mr. Jeff, and this is the second video in the Ray Aggression deck trilogy. Uh, if you don't know what we do with these videos, every week we get a challenge to create a deck. Uh, Mr. A goes away and has a no expensive spare budget. He can spend what he wants. He can put whatever cards in there he wants. He just gets to have the life of Ryler. Then I get tasked with building a deck that does pretty much the same thing for half the cost or less. Uh, I also get limited on the fact that I'm only allowed one of each legendary, so I have a I don't have a full play set. I have a complete set. One of each legendary, most of the rares, all of the uncommons, loads of commons. Then... Um, we pick on Mr. Clark and we tell him to go and do something similar for $20. Yeah, he thinks for, for some reason he thinks we don't like him. It's not because we don't like him. It's just, well, it's Mr. Clark and he, he, he's quite happy to play cheap decks. So uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, we do this every week. If you've got an idea for a deck you'd like us to try, um, Please let us know. Um, we've got some previous deck techs up that you can go and have a look at. Um, we do play against Force Table. Now, I know what you're all saying. The reason why we play against Force Table is because, A, we're all busy, busy blokes. We've all got lives. We've all got families. We've all got things to do outside of YouTube. Difficult, I know, to believe when you see the state of this room. Um, but... We do have stuff to do, and Force Table looks so much better than Carabast. It gives you, the viewer, a better idea what's going on. You can see what's happening. You don't have to have it audio described to you, even though we do try. Um, so that's the reason we use Force Table. Okay, so let us have a look at Mr. Aid's deck. So this is the deck Mr. A built. Now, if you go and watch his video, he will describe to you the reason why he's built this deck this way. He'll go into a far more greater detail about what the premise was and why he wanted to build it like this. But he has got some expensive cards in here, and that helps us. First of all, two Luke Skywalkers. 40-ish dollars each, okay? And two Vigilance, and they're about 30 to $40 each. Now, this deck came in at $218. So I've got to come in at 109 or less. So let's see what I came in at. And I came in... With this deck for eighty dollars and fifty seven cents, if you go and buy all the cards. So the way I did it was really, really simple. Normally, uh, I'm limited to one legendary, and I kind of stated that I can buy the cards if I wanted to, and I was tempted to buy some cards for this, but this worked just by doing what I did. So I took out vigilance and I replaced it. With rivals four. Um, I played this deck with vigilance. I didn't like it. I think vigilance slowed this deck down. Uh, whereas I think rivals four works a little bit better. It gives you a little bit of better balance, and I think that you don't need all the stuff that vigilance does. You don't need to mill it cards because you're you're just constantly hitting the base and trying to heal yours the other thing card i replaced with luke skywalker and you can't replace luke skywalker like for like you have to try and replace it and try and come up with a different reason for it to be there i replaced luke skywalker with gentle giant and the reason i did that it's six for a two eight okay with grit but on attack, you may heal damage from another unit equal to the damage on this unit. 
So it's grit anyway. So every time it takes damage, it helps that unit. And then whenever you attack with it, you can heal for that amount. You can heal another unit for that amount of damage. So you can protect your other units. So if you've got Ray out and you've got damage on Ray, you can start to heal Ray using that card. That was the thinking behind it. I suppose we're going to go and play it and see if it works. Let's try that. Okay. We're going to try this Ray deck uh, against the traditional one we tried decks so against the Gen Con winner. Um, and we'll see how we get on. So player two, random. Let's see what we get. All right. Okay. So I'm not going to take a mulligan because I can play. Uh, Concord only intercepted is good. Yellow lights, I want to keep that. I want to keep most of those. Um, okay, no, we're not going to take a look at So I'm going to keep, I'm going to lose that. I'm going to lose the Yoda. Play card. Draw me the wills. Into layer. Then we're going to take the initiative. Is, is he bringing someone else out? Was he? Oh, he is. Okay. This could be interesting. Gonna have to get rid of that. Going to an action raise ability. Must be two to drop that onto there. Dearly, I want to save it for Ray. No, I'm going to keep the lights over to that. Then we're going to attack the base for six. Let's pass. Take them. Very handy. Green squad and A ring. Very handy. Um, I'm going to lose Kanan. Might regret that, but. Okay, so now I'm going to play Yoda. That action raise ability. Give Yoda a power up. Okay, then we're going to attack into the base for another six. Slashes from, oh, you bought Syndicate Lathy Ambush. So you've just taken out Yoda, so I'll draw a card. No, I don't think I will. Okay, so let's take the initiative. 
So I picked up a force throw and I picked up another lightsaber. That's very, very handy. <clears throat> Just have a quick look at this. Ten left two. So we're looking, I think I can take out two of those. Okay. That's handy. Uh, I'm going to lose. I'm actually going to lose. I don't really think I'm going to lose that. I'm going to lose the Concord Dawn Interceptor. Okay. So, I have the initiative. I'm going to... Now, do I just throw that back to his hand? Or do I throw that back to his hand? We've already got three damage on it to heal it. Now, first thing I'm going to do, before doing anything else, let's do another six points of, six point of damage to the base. Then, I think... I'm going to play... My A wing. Then I'm going to play force throw. You can lose a card. You lost a waylay. Ooh. Okay, and I'll get three points of damage. I'll have another three points of damage. Stop me doing five next turn. Okay. Ray comes out next turn, and I've got a Jedi lightsaber. So I'm not overly worried at the moment. Uh, I'm going to action her ability. And give it to the green squad of an A-wing. Okay, so now all of these units can smuggle. That's fine. Let's take the initiative. A gentle giant. And I've got a K2SO. I think so we're both going to deploy this turn. I think I'm going to lose. Gentle Giant. Okay, and then the first thing I'm going to do is attack the base, being as this is an aggression deck. And solo deploys. I'm going to deploy Ray. You could. Let's uh, give an XP to that. that we've blasted up. And he's hitting me for six. Well, very nice. But not the end of the world. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to deploy my... Let 
No, he's blasted up there because oh, okay. That's made the game a lot tighter. Then I'm gonna play Jedi Lights over onto Ray. Then I'm gonna attack with Ray into the base. You store three for mine. You hit their base for five. And that should be it. I shouldn't really need to do a great deal else. <clears throat> and Sabine can go. I only need to do three points of damage. Okay, so they're surprised that in. Still not going to do enough damage. Attack. Right. Into the base. We stole the three. Uh, don't really matter, don't really matter. Game over. Okay, so let's have a go at something else. Okay, so we've had a go at Han. I'm now going to have a go at Kira, I think. We'll select Kira's plan two. We'll start random. Okay, so what do we get? So, no, I'm not going to mulligan that. I can play with that. Um, okay. No. Fair bit of space. Oh, and they have taken a mulligan, so this could be interesting. Okay, so I'm going to spit for shoulder and it's a bit too early in the game for Obi Wan. Obi Wan can go. Okay, so yes, I will play a card. I will play Guardian of the Wills. And they played Inferno 4, it goes straight to space. So I'm going to take the initiative. Oh, Wrecker. Don't really want to lose Wrecker. Really, that's my next play to stop Inferno 4. Store dogs gotta go. <clears throat> so I'm going to attack now. I'm gonna play my Concord Dawn Interceptor. Let's make him take himself out. Or Kira take herself out. Then we're going to attack with the Guardian of the Wills. And they just got rid of my Concord Dawn Interceptor. Okay, so... And... Penalty damage for a base. We're exactly the same place as we were last turn, so I'll take the initiative. Okay. Two wreckers, well, one of them will have to go into resource this turn. So let's then. I've got a takedown. She comes out next turn, so I'm going to keep the takedown. I'm going to. Action raise ability. Guardian of the Wills. Oh, brilliant. Power of the Dark Side, so I've now got to get rid of Guardian of the Wills. Let's play Green Squadron then. And then pass. Maybe I should go one, Boba Fett. 
Okay, I don't need too many stick deflections. Let's get rid of one of those. Now, Kira can play this turn, and so can I. Oh, Kira's come out. So I'm going to take it down, Kira. I think... Let's take out Kira. Let's see what he plays. A Black Sun Starfighter. Okay, so he's just taken that out. I can play Ray and deploy Ray. Can't really do a great deal, so let's. Can't deploy Ray until next turn. I could get rid of that knockout. Now I've got a force unit out, so let's just take the initiative. Cassian can go into resource because he can be brought back out. <clears throat> let's start. By deploying my. Okay, three damage. So we'll attack with right into the base. Start with three restore. Ray can give herself a experience token. Okay, so minus two, minus two on Ray. Do I want to bring out Rekka? Or do I want to bring out Gentle Giant? Or even Kato or so, because I can bring out Rekka and I could take that out. But it's not really causing me. Or I can play Mystic Reflection and take that out. And play K to us, so let's do that. Let's get rid of that. Death Trooper. So he's done two damage to himself. Let's then play K to us, so because he can take out the Death Trooper next turn. Pass. Red three. Keep my gentle giant. So he's playing it to right. Really, I'm going to attack right into the base, even though I'm not going to. more to come out ambushed Ray take three damage himself really got to stop more haven't I so let's deploy Rekka Beat that one, get rid of more. Let's attack KTSO into the base, and then I will pass. Okay, so I just draw Kanan and Sabine. So you could play Red 3 and Sabine this turn. And Red 3 would pump both of them. Let's resource Kana. Vader. Oh, fantastic. Um, 
Deal three damage to your opponent or have them discard a card. We'll deal three damage, I think. Oh, I've got to play Rebecca into Vader. But first of all, no. Play red three. That that's fine, and then does that wrecker get the raid? One, we'll play Sabine. Now we'll play wrecker. I've got to get into the center line of not, but that's fine because it's still going to do damage onto the base afterwards. So it's playing to the sentinel. Five damage into the base. Look at action raise ability. I can make red three that's unopposed at the moment. Three, four. And then pass. Do I drop a Jedi lightsaber onto Wrecker? Might have to. Snoke. Oh, I couldn't do without seeing Snoke. Remember, I only have to get to 25. Though. So that's a five at the moment. If I drop a Jedi lightsaber onto it, it's got two damage. It's a five six, so it's actually a it's a five four now. Or two, uh, I really need to attack. <clears throat> you really do be taking that snap. But mm. so it's minus two, minus two, so it's four, two. So if we stick the lights over on, it's only going to be a five, but it can still take it out. Or I can play it into Vader, do five points to Vader and any other damage into the base. That might be a better option, so let's do that. Okay, so now we only need to hit the base for another six. Let's play Gentle Giant. To put a shield on Snoke, that's fine. Let's action ability Ray. Now I'm going to attack with Sabine into the base. We'll do one damage to the base and two more damage to the base. And then we'll attack into the base. Another two damage, one more point of damage, and I've won. Another gentle giant that can uh, go to there. Avenger. And a bunch is a non leader of the control to defeat that unit. Oh, I'm going to defeat the Jungle Giant. And then I'm just going to attack the base with Red 3. And that does it. Kira Gang was close. Kira Gang was a lot closer. Okay. There you go. That's uh, the. 
Ray Aggression deck up against uh, two Gen Con winners. One Han Solo, one Kira. The Kira one was a tough one. Um, Kira's quick. I like Kira. Especially that combination with Snoke. That's absolutely horrible to play against. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Please go and check out the other two videos. Uh, Aid's video is already up. Jeff's video will be coming up very shortly. And I'm interested to see what he does uh, with this for $20 because it, it's a tough deck. Um, but thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. See ya.